So what is the difference between short-sightedness and presbyopia? Well, the reality is that they are two separate issues that can exist at the same time. Presbyopia is aging of the eyes, so we all go through that, regardless of whether we're long-sighted, have perfect distance vision, or are short-sighted. Short-sighted is where the optics of the eye are too powerful, and so light from distance, where the light rays come parallel when they reach the eye, the image is focused in front of the retina, and so the image on the retina is blurry. And so short-sighted people have to wear a divergent lens, either as a contact lens or a spectacle lens, to achieve clear focus. When short-sighted people then develop presbyopia, the lens inside their eye becomes rigid, and they lose that ability to shift focus. So if you're a short-sighted person who, say, got a prescription of minus three, you could wear your minus three spectacles when you're 30 years old and see right out to the horizon and then accommodate and see up close through those spectacles. When you're 50 and you're minus three, you can't do that because you have presbyopia like all of us develop. And so with your minus three spectacles on, you can see beautifully out to the distance. When you try and read up close, forget it. it doesn't, you're trying to hold it out here, but you can't see it. What short-sighted people can do is lift their specs up, put them on their head, and being minus three means that your peak focus, the real clarity, is about 30 odd centimeters away. It's about here. So it's quite a nice place to sit and read. So suddenly being short-sighted ain't so bad, you know? You could, I don't know, let's say you're a, a chap who's minus three, um, and your wife is the same age and presbyopic also but has great distance vision. Uh, your wife can drive you both to the restaurant without her spectacles. You can read the menu without your spectacles. Between the two of you, you have a complete range of focus and functioning visual system. But you can't do both. And um, when I'm looking after my short-sighted patients who have presbyopia, one of the things I do have to emphasize to them is that I'm going to take away that amazing vision they have at 30 centimeters because we want to put a lot of it out there where it's all a complete blur. And with both lens replacement and with Presby on LASIK, there's an element of sharing the light out. There's an element of robbing Peter to pay Paul. There has to be because although our technologies are really excellent and very effective, they're not like being 21 again. They're not seamlessly moving the focus, focus backwards and forwards. So I have to explain that we're going to take away some of this amazing focus here to give something more useful, to give really good distance vision, some good intermediate vision, and you know, leave behind some pretty good near vision, but it, won't, it, can't be, it can't be quite as strong as no specs reading here. But um, yeah, it means he can drive to the restaurant. <laughs>